How can PewDiePie save Water Sheep? For those of you who don't know who Water Sheep is, he was the sheep in PewDiePie's Minecraft Let's Play who got stuck in water and unfortunately got compressed and burned and drowned all at the same time in episode 14 and PewDiePie regrets doing it. But don't worry, this video is how to bring him back. Now this video is very similar to how I brought back Jurgen, but this time there is one problem. We don't know which sheep Water Sheep is. Well don't worry, because I figured it out. There's been some speculations that Water Sheep was one of the original here, but then other theories suggest that Water Sheep is one of these sheep here. But I have the answer. Water Sheep was one of the original, not one of the babies. Because if we look here, PewDiePie sheared every adult sheep. The light grey sheep got out to sleep with him, and I suppose that the other baby sheep must have escaped too because, one, it was closest to the gate, but two, you can see it walking around behind the pen while all the other sheep are in there. Now keep in mind, these sheep are sheared, and you can't shear a baby sheep. Now we don't see these babies appear ever again, which is why I think they wandered off somewhere. And when PewDiePie was deconstructing the house, this sheep that was in the pen, the one that originally spawned, is water sheep because he was closest to the water. So there we go, I found out who water sheep is, now the rest is just the other video pretty much. But there's one little extra detail, but anyway, let's continue. So PewDiePie, if you are watching, pay close attention. Log into Minecraft, select your world, and hit recreate, and then create the world. This is going to make a copy of your world as it is when you first got there, so there's going to be nothing there. It's basically like traveling back in time, but in a different dimension. Now, go to the location where these four sheep were, which is a little bit away from your house, and find a dark grey sheep. Now, Minecraft will always spawn the same number of sheep, but the colors will vary. If there isn't a dark grey one, you have to exit the world and recreate it again. Keep doing this until you find one, and there you go. You have water sheep. Now, while you're in this world, you're going to have to collect some diamonds so that you can make a nether portal. Put water sheep into the nether and keep him there. Maybe use a lead or something because you're not done. The thing that made Water Sheep Water Sheep is the name tag, and you're gonna have to find the exact same name tag you used. Now I believe I know where this name tag is. Now PewDiePie found two name tags in a mineshaft, but he used both of them. But there was this weird part where he didn't have any name tags at all. That was when he left to go visit a fancy village at the end of episode 10. And then in the next episode, he has a name tag. So on that adventure, he must have found something. So maybe you traded with a villager, or you found a spawner or a mineshaft, one of those will be it. But this one is up to you PewDiePie, you have to recall where you found that one because it has to be the same one, otherwise it's not authentic. What you gotta do is go back to the nether and put this name tag in a chest and leave the nether. You can leave the world entirely, actually, because now file work, just like last video. Now this kind of feels like a repeat of the other video, but if he's watching this, I kind of want to include this information. Go to your files and type percent app data percent. Hit enter and go to dot Minecraft. There should be a folder called saves. Go into there and there should be at least two folders. One is your main world and the other should be the copy of your main world. Go into your main world and take out DIM-1, put it on your desktop, and then go to the copy world copy dim-1 and put it into your main world you're basically swapping the nether so you can join your world go into the nether rescue water sheep or who is about to become water sheep and water sheep's name tag exit the nether and log out because now you have to delete dim-1 and put the original back in so that you can have all your nether progress now you can rename water sheep and boom you have him back he's safe and alive there we go so the instant that this sheep touches the water, he becomes water sheep. We basically stole future events that were going to happen in the other world and made them happen in the main world, which is kind of cool. And this was inspired by the bootstrap paradox. It's another thing I learned from Doctor Who. It's a time travel paradox that basically states that objects and information can exist without ever being created. Now this isn't really like that. This video had like three other takes and it was very, very complicated. I tried to simplify it. So the bootstrap paradox is completely out of the equation now, but that's what I was working with before. <laughs> My whiteboard is a complete mess because of all of it. This is some footage I had before. <laughs> I have the Jurgen method as well as other things I've tried, including the bootstrap paradox. But yeah, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, 
be sure to subscribe. I really like doing analysis videos like this. And if there's any other animal you want me to save, maybe even in the future, just let me know. Maybe I'll make a video on it. Uh, oh, the subscriber count. Let's give it a watch. Oh my god. Just do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <sighs> wow. Thank you. Oh, that is... Really, I did not expect that at all. <laughs> oh, no!